For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the Art Deco Outlander Gumshoe. As of right now, the only way you can get her is by using a hero recruitment voucher. She was available before in an Art Deco Llama that cost 300 V-Bucks, but that was only available for one day. If the Art Deco Llamas do return, I'll be sure to let you all know. But as of right now, the only way to get her is by using hero recruitment vouchers. Anyways, when it comes to her abilities, she has Shock Tower, Teddy, and Phase Shift. And for a standard perk, she has pressing charges. Talk about pressing charges. Which increases the damage of your fragment abilities by 30%. And a commander perk increases your fragment abilities by 30%. And it also gives you a 33% chance not to consume a charge fragment. Anyways, here's what she looks like before you upgrade her. I came looking for booty. <laughs> All right, so we just maxed her out, and the only accessory we got was this back bling. It sort of looks like a camera with a newspaper sticking out of it, and it also has some classified documents. Highly classified shit found? But that's the only accessory we got, and this is what she looks like when she's fully upgraded. And while we test her, we're gonna use the Happy Holidays team perk. And for our support team, we have Ventura Ramirez, Trailblazer Quinn, Fragment Flurry Jess, Jingle Jess, and Jilly Teacup. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 132 evacuate the shelter and we're also going to do a solo anyways i also want to take a look at her perks and abilities and first we're going to start off with the teddy without a charged fragment with our current loadout it uses 30 energy and has a 36 second cooldown and we're dealing about 22,000 damage when we don't crit and around 45,000 when we do crit but keep in mind you're not going to get that 33 percent chance to keep a charge fragment Obviously, you can't keep it because you use the teddy without it. And it lasts for about 20 seconds without a charge fragment. When you use her teddy with a charge fragment, it doesn't use any energy and it only has a 25 second cooldown. We're still dealing roughly the same amount of damage. So I believe you're going to get that increase in damage to fragment abilities whether you have a fragment or not. So the only reason you'll need a charge fragment is if you want to reduce the cooldown. It went from 36 to 25 second cooldown. And it'll also give you a chance to not use that fragment. So you'll be able to reduce your cooldown again. But you won't need charge fragments in order to increase your fragment ability damage. Same thing is true for the shock tower. You get that increase to fragment ability damage whether you have a fragment or not. And you'll still get a 33% chance to keep your fragment if you used it with the charge fragment. But if we were to use her shock tower without a fragment, it has a 12 second cooldown and uses 30 energy. It can stun husk and it lasts for about three and a half seconds. But if you use it with the charge fragment, it only has a nine second cooldown and it doesn't use any energy and it still lasts for about three and a half seconds. And as you can tell right there, we were able to keep our charge fragment because of her commander perk. So that's what her commander perk looks like with and without charge fragments. And she also has phase shift. And she has three charges. They each use 15 energy. And with our current loadout, they have a five second cooldown. Also, it doesn't look like she says anything, or at least I haven't heard her say anything yet. Hopefully they'll give us some voice lines in the future. I didn't even think about what weapon we're gonna use. It's like a pretty decent area though. So since we're playing evacuate the shells, the first thing we have to do is run to it and defend it. And I'm not even going to waste the teddy on that. All right, here we go, people. Uh, let's see what kind of element we get on this one. Up oh, doesn't look like we have one, I don't think. And I did go ahead and run around and try to get as many charge fragments as I can. And I was only able to get a total of five of them, but we're going to try to use all five charge fragments and see how many we end up with at the end. Oh, it looks like we have six now. Oh, uh, okay, I think we got that fragment because I have Fragment Flurry Jess in my support team. I was about to say. But yeah, we're gonna try to get as many kills as we can with our teddies. We may also use our Shock Tower as well, but I don't wanna waste any fragments on those at the moment. Look, we still have six, so that's pretty good. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and use the shock tower while we're at it. Uh, we also have three defenders helping us out, and they're all using 130 obliterators. And I did not know they spawned over here, too. Or these may be like some random patrols. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. 
But yeah, I didn't really build a whole lot because I wasted a couple minutes running around trying to get as many fragments as we could. It's probably not the best build. Anyways, when it comes to Gumshoe, I would recommend getting her. But obviously right now the only way you can get her is through hero recruitment vouchers. So if you have like more than eight, like I did because of the compensation we received a few years ago. Oh, let's go ahead and use another one. Look, we got seven now. So yeah, if you only have one hero recruitment voucher, I'll go ahead and save your voucher for now. D don't waste it on gumshoe. But if you have plenty like I do, then you can go ahead and use it. The only thing I would say though, is that I feel like she's gonna be better when you put her in your support team because you're still gonna get the same amount of damage. Uh, the only thing you're not going to get is the chance to keep your charge fragment, which really isn't a big deal. I feel like if you really want to get some charge fragments, you should use Fragment Flurry just as your commander. So I think we would have more charge fragments right now if we were using Fragment Flurry Jess because she regenerates them better. So when it comes to Gumshoe, I really like how you automatically get that increase in fragment ability damage, whether you have a fragment or not. Oh, oh my goodness, almost died right there. We're gonna have to be careful, people. Let's use another teddy. So yeah, I didn't put any traps over here. We'll just let our teddy kill them over there. But yeah, I think I'll probably end up just using her in my support team. Because when it comes to getting fragments, uh, I feel like Fragment Flurry just is better. But... She does increase the damage with your teddy, so she is a, a hero I would recommend using in your support team if you plan on using teddies. Her teddy doesn't deal as much damage as some other teddy outlanders. I know we could have increased our damage a little bit more if we changed our loadout around, but even then, she's, she's still not going to be able to deal as much damage with her teddy compared to some others. So she's not the best in terms of damage. But man, look, we still got like the same amount of charge fragments that we had when we started. All right, so now that we got gameplay with Gumshoe, uh, the only ones we haven't tried yet are Venturian and Sloop. There's also quite a few Art Deco weapons we haven't tried yet either. The only one that I have right now that I haven't reviewed is the Sword, but we also haven't reviewed the big shot, which is the shotgun, the mouthpiece, which is a pistol. We also haven't reviewed the sniper, the axe, or the hammer. So let me know out of those weapons and heroes, which ones you all would like to see next. And I'll go ahead and recruit it from the collection book. But yeah, the only weapon that I have now that I haven't tried yet is the sword. And look how many fragments we still have. This is, this is actually pretty good, people. We're actually getting a lot of fragments without having to uh, pick up any. It's pretty good. Keep in mind, we do have Fragment Flurry Jess in our support team as well, so we, we could have gotten one or two fragments from her. I was going to take Fragment Flurry Jess out of my support team in order to increase our Teddy's damage a little bit, but now that I see how we're able to keep the same amount of charge fragments throughout the whole mission, I kind of feel like the loadout we chose is a really good one, the way it is. But yeah, we really didn't use a whole lot of traps on this mission. We mainly just tried to spam our teddies and we didn't really have any issues. So, really solid teddy outlander in my opinion. Probably not the best, but I would still recommend getting her so you can put her in your support team. Obviously, she's really useful when it comes to ventures. Because it's hard to get energy there and if you get charge fragments you won't need any energy she's a really solid teddy outlander and i would recommend getting her the only thing is right now she's only available for hero recruitment vouchers and i know not everybody has a lot of those if you only have one hero voucher don't waste it on gumshoot i would just wait until they make the art deco llamas available speaking of which as soon as they do come out with art deco llamas I'll be sure to let you all know. All right, so we got a level four loot chest. 
with some hero XP, gold, survivor XP, and lightning in a bottle. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.